You should have seen us gunning Passing the folks along the road Just as they were standing All the lads and lasses there All the smiling faces Gunning along the Scotswood Road To see the bleeding races We went to bleeding races Fucking strokey nonce. <laughs> well, I guess we better do another one. Touch the grief. Cham Kirkham, baby. Now I hate to say it, but uh, I did tell you. That he was a little bit weird. So since we've already done a video on this touch to grief, we're not really jumping on the trend. If anything, we drove him to this. So uh, yeah, that's my excuse of being here. What's yours? So I'm expecting a hefty check from every person from the comedy community, especially a Mr. I never, you know? He's hiding something behind those spectacles and quite frankly, I just feel uneasy looking at him. And just before we proceed with this video, from the last video that we did, the only response that we got from Touch to Queef was from his mate, Jacob White, who said, Can you DM me your number? Want a FaceTime? Just, just give us two secs. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Where he would have had pre-made questions and recorders without me consent. I mean, it's not like he's done that before. But B Tech will any over here was already two steps ahead of him and knew this would come weeks before. So I thought, what's something that's a lot more important than Jacob White? Sorry, son. I'm dealing with more important matters at the minute, like checking the instructions for my skirting board. And he has an update on the skirting board for those interested. And then I proceeded to release a lovely little video, so buckle up and enjoy. Yeah, Jacob, how can we make this kid look bad? Why don't you FaceTime him like you did with Kira and manipulate it? You know what, Jacob? That's a brilliant idea. I'll tweet him now. No, do you know what would trick his mind even more? If I tweet him it. Roll on, Jacob. You're so smart. It's sent. Has he responded yet? Nah, give it time. We've done him here. We're so clever, he won't even know what's hit him. He's responded. What he said? Eh, uh, so he's checking his instructions for his skirting board at the minute. So what's plan B? Yeah, mate, you're over now. Yeah, man, fuck off. Now that was just a little bit of wisecracking to get us in the mood today because as you can tell, I can't quite contain myself. So we're going to keep it short, sweet and stick to a theme known as the rule of three and paying quite close attention to the letter N. So kick your cat and feed your ma because we're going in. Big fucking smoky knobs. Fucking smoky knobs. So according to Touch the Queef, if you've been living under a rock, you wouldn't have known. Because he's that famous, you would have seen that he uploaded the video One kill equals remove one clothing with my 13 year old sister. And now Touch the Queef is getting labelled a pedo. Now, did I think he was a nonce? Yes. That's, that's why I said this. That girl would have been 13. Now this bloke chose to put a photo of her with her tits out in the thumbnail. So you clickbaited a 13 year old girl with no clothes on to get more views. So to me it was kind of old news, he's done it a lot. So I'm just currently editing the video right now and I've just scrolled on Twitter where I've uh, seen this tweet. So I copied the link to it and I've just came across the original title of the video I was accused of rape by Touch the Queef. Someone screenshotted the original title of this video from 2016 and it was called I Raped a Five Year Old Girl. This guy is a fucking creep. How can you title a video or something like that? You fucking sicko. And the worst part about it is he even acknowledged how bad the title was and he put comments saying okay so everyone tell me to change the title. Watch the video, understand that's what someone's exact words were towards me. I'm not a bad person for titling the video that. Why would I joke about something so serious for views. And then down below he says, remember a thumbs up for more dumb talking videos like this. He's a fucking strange bloke. So yeah, if you're after a babysitter, he's probably not the best bet. But I think enough has been said on this video by every single soul on the website. So I'm going to show a clip from a fellow good sir called I Alex who summed it up perfectly. What type of people do you want to bait in to watch content like this? Who are you, who are you trying to get to watch your videos? 50, 60 year old men? Nonces. Oh, my views are getting a bit low. Uh, we need to try and get into a new audience. Have we tried the teenagers? Oh, yeah, we have. Uh, that's not worked. Why don't we try paedophiles? That's always an untapped market. But there's one person I do feel sorry for in this situation. Benjamin Morris. If it wasn't enough for his best mate to clickbait incest, his brother was at it the next day. Somebody buy that man a pint. He's had the week from hell, man. But with the power of loss and the losms behind us come a please spam hashtag pray for Ben Morris 
in the chat. The man deserves it after this. <laughs> Look who it is, touch the queef and Jacob White. Wow, I miss you guys so much. I didn't know you were coming. You're crazy. You didn't know and I was coming. don't ever call me touch the queef again, you little snake. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> The touch to Queef responded to the hate, where he in fact got more dislikes than likes, and yeah, it's just 4 minutes 21 seconds of him boosting his ego. A lot of famous YouTubers, PewDiePie, mentioned me. My name's kinda out there now. The amount of YouTubers that are like, tweeting about me, I've never had so many people talking about me on Twitter. I know for a fine fact there's gonna be so many people making videos on me. There's so many YouTubers tweeting about me now, like I've literally made YouTube history for the worst clickbait, you know what I mean? Like, no offense, PewDiePie, move out of the way because I'm here now. And any apology the queef said I just want you all to know like deeply down that like I will never ever ever do anything like this again I've learned my lesson so in the video he claims to be sincere telling these viewers that he's actually sorry for what he's done however if you've watched my first video on him you would have seen that he manipulated his fans into thinking he was passionate about the topic of suicide and he's using the same manipulation tactics in this situation in order to save his channel and to back this up I'm going to show you his first apology which he uh, released on snapchat if you haven't actually seen it it could be that deep but like clearly everyone's like coming for me um i obviously didn't do it intentionally like millie's 17 i i literally did a bit of clickbait and everyone's crying yeah just look away you lying sack of shit now anyone with half a brain cell can detect the hypocrisy between those two apologies in one he's telling his audience that he's generally sorry for what he's done and in the other one he's kicking off because he didn't do it intentionally and it's actually everyone else's fault for kicking off but oh it's not his fault because he could never do anything wrong therefore he's just telling his very young audience what they want to hear and he's not actually sorry for what he's done He's just sorry he's being caught. And this is factual because he didn't say sorry after this vid, or this one, or even that one. But I feel like after the next section of this video, a sincere apology won't even cut it. I don't think any white person should be saying it. Now the N-word is a topic which causes major conflict in society and touch to queef. Well, he's said it a lot. One of the first ways is through this. But Cam, that's in a song lyric, he's only quoting a song. I mean, some people would agree with that. I mean, you could have used any other song lyric, but we'll move on to this one. Fake ass, what? Did you, did you see what I did there, touch the queef? I just missed the word off, it's uh, it's not that hard. But Cam, that's only a phone contact, you can't say that's hurting anyone. I mean, some would certainly disagree. Now, I've talked to a lot of people from the black community, and what it seems is a lot of people have different opinions on the matter. Some say that if you're not black, you shouldn't say the N-word, it's just not for you to say. Others seem to be a bit more lenient and don't really care unless it's directed towards them or someone else. And some people who aren't black, like Touch the Queef, think it's okay to say it. But one thing that everyone agrees on is if you're using the N-word in a derogatory manner to offend a person that is black, then that's completely out of order and you should be punished. So, touch the queef, explain this. So you put this on your private Instagram to your multiple followers and public on Instagram for everyone to see that you're a racist. The meme shows that when a black person is beating you in an argument, your comeback would be to point to the end key. Now I don't know about you, but I don't think he means nasty. But Cam, that's not his profile, it could be a fan account. Fucking hell, you just keep on going, don't you? Now I'm sure this is an excuse that you would have come up with, however, because you're thick as shit, you decided to upload this video to your channel, where you couldn't even blur out your own Instagram's handle. So this just proves it was you who uploaded the photo, so uh, good luck explaining that. Uh, skinny penis. Now I've covered the topics of paedophilia, incest, and most notably racism, so I think it's time that we took this video to the next level and talked about a real issue. He's... Cock's a bit small in it. <laughs> now I've seen a few pornos in me life. Straight, heterosexual if you will. So I've seen a few cocks inserted into vaginas. You know, the private part of a woman. But I like to put them behind us. Not in my rectum, because uh, that's gay. Nothing wrong with that, just uh, it's not my cup of tea. So I think it's only right if you click pause on this video now and go over to Touch Decrease Twitter account at Touch Delight and send them a tweet with the words your cock's a bit small in it. And whilst you're there, add Cam Kirkham underscore, a man of the people. They were back to back. So before making this video, I thought, you know what, should I actually include all the points of him being racist and stuff like that? Because if someone who watches Touch the Queef watches this, it's going to change how they perceive him and therefore his content. But I thought, you know what, 
Fuck it. People go out every day, six o'clock in the morning, work their arse off to get a half of what this kid does. And what does this kid do to get it? He sits around vlogging his boring life and he gets his views by clickbait and child pornography, clickbait and suicide, and a whole host of other disgusting things. This kid just doesn't realise that making a living off YouTube is such an incredible thing, something I haven't achieved. And this kid just takes it for granted and the reason it's blew up is because it's come at a time where people have just had enough of people like this. With the boring shit content, where they manipulate people into watching the whole video because they've clickbaited something at the end of the vid. I mean, I'm just happy that people have had enough of this shit. I mean, this kid won't be the first, he'll not be the last, there'll always be another touch to queef. He's nothing special like he thinks he is. So keep doing what you're doing, son. But remember, you can clickbait all the 13 year old girls you want, but you've still got a tiny cock. <laughs> can you leave a like? It literally takes you a second to press the button. It means a hell of a lot of me. If we can hit 2k likes, then uh, that's a dream, I'm not gonna lie. And to end this video, I've got you a little present, something special if you will. So kick back and enjoy dipsticks. Baiting suicide, I can't decide just what to do with him He's bringing pedos in, this gimpy shrimping infant pimp is more than dim Cause he's just him, a middle class boy that sees no sin I watched him rape her story time, this pic just made me doubt my eyes What the fuck is touch the lie? Um, well, right Call me Salito, human dildo, clickbait speedos Would he do that though? Then you finally will bro, look at this video What was he thinking? Fuck you, far no. He chats best shit cause his head's up his arse It's snug tight fit with the size of his ego He might just quit and become a real hero But it's what like this, it's hard to be clear though We all want you to go away, but you'll decide that you'll just stay That's great, mate, for fuck's sake No, wait you look like Andy from Emmerdale You mar with your dar and your content stale And when you try, I hope you fail Wanna see you cry and go to jail And just remember when you entered this self-centered way To render more subs You just showed the whole world that you're a fucking mug And you're a pussy So don't look so smug You look like Andy lad Subscribe to Tom Stock Daily, wrote the song and produced it in under 8 hours. Drop him a sub, can we get him a 7k? That would mean a lot to me and him. Like the last video, I'm going to be following every single person that hashtags touched a queef on Twitter. So I'll see you over there. Oh, Cam Kirkham, does he come from Markwood Forest as Uncle Legolas to mark him? Ah!